Today is the day. It's the 6th of November 2022 and welcome to the Alton Towers Resort here on Theme Park Worldwide where it's the final day to ride the legendary Nemesis in its current form. So Nemesis has been open since 1994 and since then there's been over 40 million riders on this iconic ride. Look at it go there just behind us roaring round for Midden Valley and of course the ride will be closed for over a year throughout 2023 for a full overhaul. Most of the track will be replaced from the top of the lift hill through to the brake run. Many of the supports and foundations will be replaced and then Nemesis will be back looking shiny, fresh and new really for 2024. Uh, today isn't goodbye, it's just farewell for see now. We'll see you soon Nemesis. Um, it's not a day to get too sad and emotional. Yes, we're not going to be riding it next year. However, we really do appreciate the fact that Alton Towers and of course the owners, Merlin Entertainment, are spending the money Definitely. on looking after this classic and legendary ride. It's really good to see that they're doing that. So many people have come to the park because of this. It's made Alton Towers what it is today and it's just such an iconic ride. When it opened, the world's most intense ride experience. We still see them signs out here to this day in Forbidden Valley and honestly uh, I am really excited to see Nemesis looking like it did back in 1994 uh, for its 30th birthday in 2024. It's going to look so fresh. It is indeed and of course we're going to see some nice shiny new trains on there, uh, some nice repairs to the theming, hopefully some other nice upgrades as well. Uh, but the layout will be the same, the ride experience will be the same and you know what, uh, Nemesis will be back in 2024. Along with that, today we're going to capture some sights and sounds around the ride, have some more rides and then tonight uh, we know there's a special announcement from the Phalanx. There is indeed, I'm looking oh, forward to seeing it. As soon as the fireworks come to an end. So obviously it is the final day of the season. As soon as the fireworks finish, the Phalanx are going to be taking control and something's going to be happening down here at Nemesis. Some sort of special announcement. So we're going to come down here, capture all of that and just document everything that happens on this final day of Nemesis in its current form, being the key words there, in <laughs> current its current form. form. Um, and yeah, like come and join us for this very special day here at Alton Towers. Now, of course, Nemesis is a fantastic Bolliger and Mabillard inverted roller coaster, but it's not just about the ride experience. It's the music, it's the ambience around the ride, and signings like this that makes it the legend that it is today. Be warned, the world's most intense ride experience. Be absolutely sure you want to ride before joining this queue. Oh, I love all this signage. I really hope they keep all this. about walking towards the ride and hearing it roaring off the top of the lift hill down towards the first inversion of the course screw just there and hopefully that iconic roar doesn't change too much well yeah like I say the ride will be completely retrapped from the top of the lift through to the brake run the sections in the station and also the lift hill will be remaining the 1994 original and that's because there's not that much pressure on them sections of track. It's more the strain and pressure on the track, the supports and the foundations around the rest of the layouts. And then yeah, to combat that, they're actually be adding another support just on the downwards helix there, just to help with the ride's lifetime in the future. But yeah, fantastic that Alton Towers are spending the money. I really do hope that we see the waterfalls make a grand return. The waterfalls have been off now for a few years. Prior to that, there used to be the Nemesis Blood River waterfalls. So I really do hope we see them come back in the future. But here we go, taking some nice ambient shots now of the area. Nemesis. It's going to be a weird season, 2023, without this beast roaring round. But at least we know it's coming back and it'll look really fresh.
the beast entering the station. Oh, I tell you, just love the sound of Nemesis roaring around the tracks, and of course, in the noise of it entering the station again. So iconic. But yeah, we're waiting for the front row now for a nice front row ride to start the day. This is it, Charlotte. Hello. Oh, we've got a front row ride on yeah, Nemesis. we've got it. Got to be done, aren't it? Got to be done. Yeah, weather's being kind to us at the moment as well, which is good. Hopefully, that'll be the case for the rest of the night. Yeah, it's only a 15 minute wait. Obviously, we're waiting for the front, so it's about an extra 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the group sizes. But yeah, worth having a front row ride here on Nemesis today. I do love the Phalanx outfits as well down there. Now, you know me, viewers, I like doing a lot of talking, but in this vlog, I'm trying to make sure that I'll just capture a lot of ambient sounds as well that may be different in the future. So if you're thinking, why is Sean not talking quite as much? You'd probably be grateful of that, to be honest. But uh, yeah, just enjoy the ambience and sounds of it all. for a front row ride on the legendary nemesis. Fantastic. There should be a t-shirt that just says the Nemesis original. original on there. I love it. Um, absolutely brilliant front row ride oh, that was. No, but what we want you to do is drop us some comments down below your favourite memory of Nemesis. Yeah, everyone's got their own special memories from over the years. For me, it's got to be riding it with the legendary John Wardley all them years ago on the front row. Oh, that, that was, was my special ride. Too. John's going to be about somewhere today, so hopefully we we'll will catch yeah. up with him later on. But uh, yeah, that's my special memory. And of course, riding it with Charlotte oh, as well over lovely. all these years. But uh, <laughs> definitely John Wardley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely amazing. What a legend. And you've got to think, John's responsible for Nemesis exactly. and many other fantastic rides out there. But yeah, we'd love to learn those comments. So yeah, yeah get them down nice. below. Because uh, everyone's got their own special moments. Maybe you got engaged on Nemesis, you got married on Nemesis. It's I don't know. But I'd really like to read all your comments, just kind of in memory, really, of this exactly. amazing ride for all these years in its current form. Do you like how I keep saying that? Yeah, in its, it's current, current form. form. Yeah, the marketing's been very interesting for this. With all the big signs saying Nemesis closing. And yeah, hopefully tonight we're going to kind of see them say, the Phalanx has taken over. However, 2024, you're going to be able to come back. That's exactly. what I'm what kind of need, expecting yeah. from tonight, but we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, we're going to get some more shots now. The legendary beast running around, has some more rides on there, and of course, building up that much anticipation for the Phalanx taking over control tonight here in Forbidden Valley. Looks like Nemi started to shed a tear, but she's not going to be open for over a year. Oh, it rhymed, how lovely. <laughs> but yeah, it started to rain, in other words. Here at Alton Towers. Here we go, front row riders there. <laughs> hey. Beautiful. Yeah, current queue time this afternoon, 30 minutes. the first drop here on Nemesis because it's not a massively long or spectacular drop. However, I build up the speed and momentum to get into that first court screw. Fantastic. There's a little drop off the top of the lift and building up that momentum gradually coming down here into the first inversion on the ride. Yeah, it's always fascinating me. That's what I love about John Wardley's designs. I've all 
always loved just being up here in the extended queue lines, looking out over the beast as well. There she goes, down into the loop. And an epic view of the zero G roll over the station there as well. Building up that speed into the first course crew. And of course the most intense element of the ride, the downwards helix there before coming up into that zero G roll over the station. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Coming straight out there, the zero G roll. Up there into the iconic stall turn. Straight down into that vertical loop. And that's another great thing about this ride, the queue line all the way around. Obviously back in the day, the extended queue used to run all the way around the top of the beach just here. It's not been there for quite some time. However, you never know, maybe they might open up more of the extended queue, even just for views of the ride. I mean, all at the top here as well, used to be part of the extension. Oh, what an iconic attraction. Look at this rain, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, but what a classic. Oh. Lovely We're not too sad, though, are we, no, this time? No, just coming back. Yes, yeah, I think it's not uh, goodbye. It's only exactly. see you soon. See you soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, uh, it's not like last week, obviously, with Apocalypse at Grayson Manor. That was the end. Whereas with this, we know it's coming back. It's fine. We're going to miss it for a year. However, here on the channel, we're going to bring you loads of updates, aren't we? Well, indeed, it'll be fun to cover. Yeah, we'll be trying to get as much footage as we can definitely. do. It'll be nice to see yeah, you. definitely. But uh, again, for another ride in the lovely rain. But yeah, it's not spoiling the fun down here at Alton Towers. The power of this final inversion on the beach. Oh, amazing. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? We went round and we got soaked, and now it stopped raining. Oh, no, yeah. You know what though, I don't mind a wet ride on Nemesis. Uh, we don't mind at all. Oh no, it's great. Making the most of this classic here at Alton. But yeah, we have some more shots coming up for you now. As we make our way towards the fireworks, not long to go. Oh, the power of this ride, honestly. You can just stand around it, just the noise. And that's why I've tried to just capture the sound, you know. Yeah, just so we can capture it all. Really. Yeah, just the feel of it really, which is which is great. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. What an icon for this park, really is, and I'm so glad the work's been done. And now, obviously, all the station down here is going to be getting completely redone as well. You've got the monster itself, there's the eye. I just want to say as well, operations today, a huge well done to all of the staff. They are getting the trains out so quick. Like, you saw that coming round, just. Must have only just hit the brake run, and that one's straight Team out. Team Nemesis, fantastic work today, you're doing a great job. It's the best operation yeah, I've ever seen on here. I've ever seen at Towers, to be honest. Yeah. Really Really good job with operations today. Like they are pumping the trains out, which is really good. We are just documenting the monster here. That's why we do this channel. Of course, it's to give you entertainment and we have a great time doing it, but it is documenting history. Next time we stand here, it is going to be very different. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to capture the atmosphere of it all today, which is fantastic. A lot of people out here to give Nami a good send off. We have the monster itself. Let's hope for um, yeah, this looking really fresh. Don't forget the Nemesis kitchen as well. Let's go and have a look. Who remembers coming down below? Nemesis Nosh, the old food unit that they used to be. Well, yeah, come and have a look at the kitchen just down here. You know, this is just another iconic piece of history. There you go. The Nemesis kitchen, you have to come down here to find it all. All this down here, loads of random bits of theming. I'd like to see them add a bit more of this sort of stuff uh, around the queue line, yeah, you know. To look at when you're queuing, really. Yeah, it just nice. really adds to it. Yeah. Well, yeah, this whole plaza area is always what's made. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> it's always what's made Nemesis special. It's just down here. The monorail going fast. Hey. <laughs> oh, absolutely brilliant. We have a few more shots, and then shortly, well, that special announcement from the Phalanx after the fireworks. I'm also just going to get some nice shots now of all the signs as well, because I love some of the nostalgic signs around this '94 classic.
just had another ride on the legendary Nemesis here at Alton Towers. And I want to say the sun goes down on the last day of this ride operating for over a year. But it's not really been sunny today, it's been rainy, but you know what, what an atmosphere oh, today. It's been so busy. <laughs> all them crowds you just saw, oh, just, no. it was a big group photo. Yeah, Everyone was all together. Oh, I know, it was pretty oh. crazy. We're now going to make our way down to the front lawn, so the next thing you're going to see will be this announcement at 7.30 from the Phalanx. Yes, oh, what are we going to hear? What are they going to say? I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be really fascinating. But yeah, we'll have the announcement, and then of course we'll be back up here to Nemesis tonight. I hope they've got some good crowd control up here, because I think they're going to need it. A public announcement from the Phalanx regarding Nemesis to follow. By order of the Phalanx, as you may or may not be aware, Nemesis is closing due to her abnormal behavior. Today, as our investigation begins, we can assure you we have our most experienced team involved. Nemesis is a complex beast, and it's in our interest to protect her well-being. I'm sure you'll join me in remembering what's been an iconic presence in many of our lives. For now, though, we must say, Good night, Nemesis. We'll be taking no further questions. Then. So we had that announcement from the Phalanx, which was beautifully done. Well, look at this. Oh my God. Thousands of people, lady, and thousands of people now making their way down to the beast to give her a send off tonight. Look at this. Look at the crowds. All the way back to Tower Street, all over the lawns. This is crazy. Crazy. Here we go, it's making our way now to Mutiny Bay here, and yeah, look at the pathway's a bit wider here, so yeah, it's fizzled out a bit, which is right. good. All of the rides and attractions, park exit, left. A lot of people heading up towards Nemesis, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like up here, I think it's going to be busy. To your left hand side, to your right hand side. Nemesis to your left hand side, to your right hand side. To your right hand side. Well, there we go. Look at this. The Cuban Nemesis stretching all the way past some terror just here. Wow. On the pathway down towards Jewel. Or former Jewel, anyway, down in Gloomy Wood. Look at this. And yeah, as we can see, all the rocks have been taped up down here. We've got the Phalanx out as well. Very atmospheric. Well, you heard it in the announcement, but the Phalanx are taking over. Look at the stamp just here on the tank. Oh, I love it. So atmospheric this is. Really well done by Alton Towers. Biohazard tape on all the rocks just here as well. I think we're going to be meeting the Phalanx soon just down here. Look at this, 100 minutes estimated at the moment. Oh, and we heard their announcements earlier, but the Phalanx are here taking over in Forbidden Valley. Oh, they got the torches. Look at this, what's going on? Oh, what they got here? Oh, wow. <laughs> Keep away from the hazmat! <laughs> this is brilliant. This is really well done. Wow. Oh! <laughs> oh! Look at this. I'm so pleased that Alton Towers have gone to town with this. Here we go. Look at this. The old games booth down here. All signs that have been put on there. It's all boarded up. And they've done this whilst we've all been watching the fireworks. Investigation underway. Move out the way! Absolutely. <laughs> Move! Proper Nemesis sub terrorizer with this. Oh, look at this over here. Here we go. Investigation. This is fantastic. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. But yeah, look at this over here. Oh my god. Hey, I've literally taken over the old games area, put all these signs up. 
This is crazy. Phalanx stands. This is so well done. Look at this. Brilliant. <laughs> Got some swabs going on just here. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, look at the phalanx. Oh, and now he's roaring round. Oh, that's a dodgy, it's the second oh. time. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Here we go, 120 minutes advertised there. 6th of November 2022. Wow, final day of the original Nemesis here at Alton Towers. Phalanx, oh, a bit of spraying going on here. A biohazard. Oh, I love it. Absolutely brilliant. All these stickers are so cool. Like, look at all these. Amazing. You won't see that very often. 120 minutes for Nemesis just there. Oh, and now we've got time to reflect on it. What did you think to the big announcement from the Falle? To be honest, I thought it was really atmospheric. It was like you could hear like helicopters come in. I think they did a really good job. You could feel the bass, like the helicopters <laughs> on the soundtrack, which was fantastic. I've got to say, the quality of the visuals in that video. Really good, yeah. Oh, it really had me emotional. Like I said that I didn't get loads of emotion in fireworks this year. I did there with that like, uh, ending. All the like marching about. It was really good. And then walking up here, fantastic crowd control when we got off the lawns. It was yeah. quite busy around there, but fair play, they got security all the way down uh, from Katanga Canyon onwards uh, which is really good and then coming down here acted oh, everywhere really good oh absolutely brilliant like they've covered everything like with these stamps Fantastic. and steins oh it's so well done it really is all the biohazard stuff uh, really gone to town with this one they did well with uh, Jewel uh, with this one they've really gone the to next town level, yeah. honestly it makes you really excited and we've just seen they've got a little tent set up underneath the ride we'll go we're out. gonna have a look at that shortly as well Absolutely brilliant. Woo! Here comes another train. Whee! Oh, this is absolutely amazing. What a send off for the original Nemesis. Here comes another train. We're going to get some cheers from this one. Woo! Well, here we go. I'm glad we didn't mess about coming up from the lawns tonight. We believe the queue closed off about 8.10. So yeah, about 50 minutes before the usual ride closed. But Alton Towers did clearly state on social media that yeah, it would close earlier if the queue reached capacity. But uh, there we go. Probably on one of the last maybe six or seven trains, I'd say. Here come the cheers. This atmosphere, probably my favorite ever nice Alton Towers right now. This, this is something really special. Really happy to just be here and document it all for those of you that couldn't be here tonight. Hopefully we're bringing it into your living rooms. anywhere else in the world tonight other than right here at Alton Towers in Forbidden Valley riding one of the coasters that really made me fall in love with theme parks. It's a special night here tonight at Alton Towers. Obviously it was quite a rush up from the lawns and yeah the queue closed at 8.10. Like I say though Alton Towers did clearly state that it was going to be closing when it reached capacity. Yeah, there's quite a few people stood out the front but unfortunately looks like they didn't make it into the queue before it closed tonight. signs everywhere saying that the investigation is underway and yeah the code just here as well obviously this is a QR code but yeah look at this could these digits mean anything there oh this is really well thought out by Alton Towers tonight really really good look at the tent just down here audio oh it's the sound of nemesis I think that's the sound of the beast just there which is amazing They might be giving something out down here. I'm not too sure. What What are the wristbands for? I can't answer any questions. 
Oh, okay, no problem, thank you. Oh, no questions can be answered at this time. Oh, really nice little souvenir from the last day. Listen to Nami in the background. She is not happy about being detained. Love the sound effects. Yeah, that's a really nice little souvenir from this final day here, a wristband. Oh, you're right there, Charlotte. What a nice wristband. <laughs> He's already said he can't answer any questions, Charlotte. I wasn't asking him a question, I was just telling him I was a test specimen. Phalanx are back and they're taking over Forbidden Valley. <laughs> what a setup down here for the tent and everything. Listen to the beast, she is screaming tonight. This is a special ride, not just for myself and Charlotte, but for many people out there around the world. The legendary nemesis here at Alton Towers. Oh, it's so classic. It is, and I feel emotional, but oh, I'm no. not too sad tonight. It's a happy emotion, exactly. because Alton Towers, we're proud of you tonight for what you've done. We are. As we walk into the station for one last time in its current form. Look at this. Straight in to the beach just here. Look at this. Time to say goodbye to Nemesis. towards the right entrance there. The one and only designer of the ride, John Wardley himself. A beautiful moment. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely loving this with the phalanx just here. And we'll reflect on that last ride in just a moment, but look at this, literally hundreds, maybe thousands here in Forbidden Valley for this moment. <laughs> and we're all now waiting for that last train. Obviously, Alton Towers held the competition. We've just seen John Wardley. And yeah, we want to see that last train going around the tracks for the final time. Charlotte, they're coming for you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> let's get three cheers for John Wardley. Come on, let's do it. Hip, hip. Hey. Hip, hip. Hey. Hip, hip. Hey. hip, hip. Hey. Woo. Here they come. The last moment, just uh, the phalanx. Oh, there they are all dressed up as well for the last ride. They've given them all an outfit. Look at that. Here they come. Everyone's dressed for the last ride. The competition winners. Wow. Alton Towers have really gone to town with this one. It's like a procession led by John Worley at the front there. And here they all come. This is going to be an iconic moment here in theme park history and it's happening tonight at Alton Towers, the 6th of November 2022. Here we go, here comes Nemesis. Woo! A moment in history, look at this. Here he comes. The last train of Nemesis.
Well, we've had that last ride, and this is it. The Phalanx are clearing for Midden Valley. Everybody move back, please. Please take the area. Nothing left to see. This facility is closed. Move on. The is over. The Phalanx have full control of this facility. Move along. <laughs> While the people have gone, Forbidden Valley is clear and it's not going to be the same in 2023. Nemesis is officially under investigation by the Phalanx. That's it for Nemesis I know, tonight. I but I think Alton Towers have done an absolutely fantastic job with what they've done tonight. They have indeed. And we had a really nice special back row ride, row yeah, eight I as know. well, which was really nice for our final ride. Of course, Nemesis in its original 1994 form, 28 years of operation here at Alton Towers. Um, but this really isn't goodbye. It's see you soon. And like I've said multiple times since this project was announced, uh, I'm really pleased this is happening. Definitely. It's definitely needed to preserve it for the Future. It's been emotional tonight. It has been. However, um, it's more of a happy emotion. Uh, seeing the final train go around there, John Wardley on the yeah, front I row, know. hundreds of people there gathered to just take it all it in. Was lovely. It really was a special moment. And I'm so pleased that we've been able to document that. Alton Towers have done everything really well from the video down there on the lawns. Brilliant. Uh, it's been fantastic. Obviously, I've not been a huge fan of the campaign up until tonight. Exactly. Um, yeah. With all the Nemesis closing signs and things. But tonight has been done really well. Um, and yeah, you can't fault it. That what we've done tonight. It has been fantastic. The Nemesis will be back in 2024. We it's going to be wait. a weird atmosphere here next it's year. It's going to be so strange. But we will be covering every little detail here on Theme Park Worldwide. Um, we'll be hoping to get some footage of the track coming down, exactly. um, going back up next year. And yeah, just that's it. The lights are going exactly. off with some of the last people here. <laughs> Goodbye, Nemesis, uh, and thank you so much for the memories. What a, an amazing night. It's been fantastic. It really has been, just to be here and just document it all, and uh, yeah, just capture them last moments. But uh, of really course, special. a big thank you to John Wardley for creating that ride, thank because you. without John and without Nemesis, I wouldn't be the theme park enthusiast I am today. Theme park worldwide probably wouldn't exist. I would never have met Charlotte. Oh, no. It really is a special ride, uh, and I'm so pleased that it's been preserved tonight. I really am. But uh, thank you very much for joining us and so yeah that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep on riding we'll see you all soon